So welcome to Techno Day of Life and my name is Jeff and today I'm going to be going over the SwitchBot Universal Remote and we're going to be seeing if this is a remote that can replace all your other remotes. If you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and I will try to remember to leave links to everything that I mention in this video. So today what we're going to be doing is reviewing the SwitchBot Universal Remote Control. So let's see what's in the box first. So we have a few things. We have the SwitchBot card, a uh, manual that doesn't really say anything, a warranty card, a reset pin, and the SwitchBot remote, and a USB-C cable. And so how it charges is by USB-C, and you want to do that first. Now to get all the functions of this, you actually need a SwitchBot Hub Mini or SwitchBot Hub 2 to do it because that will make it so you can use the app, but also so that you can connect Matter devices to it. But there's a big caveat to that. So to set this up, you need to download the SwitchBot app and then you can actually add the remote control by clicking Add Device and it will pick up the device and then you add it. Once that's done, you'll have the SwitchBot Universal Remote right there. And then you can add devices such as here I've added an Apple TV, an air conditioner, and my TV. And then they have this four section where you can add Matter devices. But again, there's a caveat here. So down at the bottom here, we can go to automations. We can add automations. These automations mainly work with SwitchBot devices, but any devices that you've added in through your home app here, you can actually add in as an automation. So if you look here, I have the air conditioner. So when I return home, within, when I get within a 100 meter radius, it will turn on the air conditioning to cool auto and 70 degrees. Other things that I've added in here, so there's the air conditioning, there's a TV, the universal remote, and there is the Hub Mini. So to add Matter support, you need to pick out your Hub Mini, click on the cogwheel up at the top, and then click Matter Setup. The first time you do this, you'll have to do a firmware update for the Hub and then eventually you'll have to do a firmware update for your uh, remote control too. Once that's updated, you can see then we get a QR code for the HomeKit, which you scan with HomeKit. And here it says set up now for your universal remote. And it takes us to the Home app. Okay, Editor Jeff here. And so I have since figured out something with the bot universal remote that actually can get it to work with HomeKit. So the next part of this video is going to be a long gripe about how I couldn't get it to work with HomeKit, but I actually can. And so I'll show you that right now. So if you go to your Home Hub and then click the cookie again and then click Matter Setup, it takes you to this screen and then you click Linked Matter and then that takes you to the home app in iOS. So now you remember I said there were directions were useless. Well, this is a part where they need directions for this device because it actually makes a huge difference in then how you use it and what you can do with it. So if we look down here, we don't see anything is really, nothing has been added that we can know of. But when I did the matter setup, I put it in the living room. And if we go click on living room, there's this arrow pointing to the right. We scroll down and at the very bottom, it says matter accessory two. It would have been nice to know I could look for that. And then we click on that and we scroll down and here we can see our buttons. And so if we go this one, I have changed it to the movie theater mode for my living room and you can test it, turn it on and off. And there's the morning time and good night and all. And then if we go to the remote now, if we scroll down now we can see it says light 
And now we have our four options and I can press one and it works and you can see on the home app that it has turned on all the lights in the living room. So what that means is then you can use this device to control any scenes that you already have on your iPhone. So say you want to close the garage door opener and you have that in your uh, iOS or in your home app. You can just click a button, your garage door is closed. Seems pretty easy. So that makes this a game changer. And so I'm changing what I said in my original review and saying this is actually an awesome device because of that. So it has all the normal, uh, you know, remote control things. So it controls smart, device, uh, smart bot devices, can control Bluetooth devices, and then also it can control matter devices and actually run routines. So uh, I have one on here. So it's say done watching TV. It turns off the lights, the TV, everything except for the light in my bedroom. So then I have a light to walk to from my TV room. That is pretty cool. I'm, I fully recommend this remote. Uh, it's not that expensive. It's $99. And I would say it's better in many ways than ones that cost twice as much. And we'll go over there. We'll go over the rest of that in the video coming up. It was a spot where you could add uh, four different devices. And so those are for matter devices. So we can see those right here. So I've actually changed them because I was trying to get them to change different light modes in my living room. And so uh, normally it says device one, device two, device, device three, device four. All you can do is in this window is name them. So you can't actually change anything there. And how you would name them is just click on that little pencil and then change the name and then click save and then done. Now the interesting thing is those uh, four uh, matter devices do show up in home assistant so let's take a look at that now if you take a look up here you can see those are the same lights morning movie and night that we saw in the app and if we go to our remote control we'll see them there too and so there on the remote we have our apple tv our air conditioner our tv and then where it says light we click on that now, the interesting things, if I click on these buttons and go to Home Assistant, it does uh, register them. So the one, two, three, or four are related to, there's four buttons across here on the top. So we're gonna press one of those buttons and then you'll see it actually shows up in Home Assistant as doing something. So let's do that. So if you take a watch in this area, you'll see things happen. And so there is the first one. There's the second one. Third one. And fourth one. So now it is sign sending out signals and it is registering it. Uh, it does show up in Home Assistant, but I have not yet been able to get Home Assistant to do anything with it for some reason. So that's for another video. So to get the remote plus the hub that you need to actually get all the features, it currently looks like it's $99 and it's 15% off. So about $85 plus tax and shipping. So is there anything else out there at this price point that is as good? Personally, I don't think so. Once they added the matter support and I sort of figured out how that it was there all along, they just didn't tell you anything about it, uh, it is actually worth it because you can do, again, just those, hit those scenes. And so I'll show you actually again because uh, before, and before that when I did this, I actually covered it up. So we'll do it again. So here I'm gonna press it on and there all the lights turn on.
And my daughter is probably wondering why I'm turning the lights on and off in the living room all the time, but I'll tell her later. So that's it for today. Uh, I would definitely recommend this now that it's been updated so the matter works and you can run scenes. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.